Hey there everybody. Today we're going to talk about some types of chemical reactions and the first one I have is a combination reaction. So that's when two or more simple substances combine to produce a more complex substance. So my first example here has a solid carbon structure reacting with oxygen gas. So the first thing we got to look at is our carbon and what I like to do is find the charges on the periodic table. So I go to my periodic table and I see that carbon is in row 14, which means that it has a plus four charge. So if you go back to your document, and then when you look at oxygen on the periodic table, it is in the second row. So we know that it has a minus two charge because it has two less electrons than a full valence shell. So go in here, and oxygen has a minus two charge, but there's two oxygens in here, so we times that by two, which equals minus four. And since our charge is balanced, we know that we can just add carbon and oxygen gas together. So we get CO2 gas, which is just like the air you breathe out of your lungs. So second reaction, I have two sodiums plus chlorine gas. And what I'm going to do is go to the periodic table and show you where Na or where sodium is. And over here you can see that it's in the first column. And the first column means that it has a plus one charge. Alright. And you look at the chlorine gas and it looks like it's in the seventh column, which means it has a minus one charge. Alright. So now our um, charges match up. And what we had to do is chlorine gas in its natural form is dichloride. So you have two chlorine gases. And so you need to have two sodium to balance the equation out. So we get two sodium chloride. And this is exactly like the salt that sits on your table in the little shaker. That's what sodium chloride is. And to make sure that we did this right, we have to make sure that we have equal number of elements on either side. So on the first side, we have two chlorine. And on this side, we have two chlorine. And on this first side, we have two sodium. And on the second side, we have two sodium. So we know that our reaction is complete and balanced. So the third reaction is SO3 plus H2O. Now we know this is a combination reaction, so they're going to add together. So it's going to look like this. We're going to go H2SO4. We're just going to combine them. And we're going to, we know that this is the right structure because hydrogens have a positive charge as well as sulfur. And then the oxygens usually have the negative charges. And you always put the positive charges before the negative charges. I hope that helps with balancing reactions and combination reactions. Thanks guys.